today's tour will be unlike any other home tour we've done before. Let's check it out. This home is a little over 4,500 square feet and it is overlooking rolling hills in Indiana. Now this is a very unique blend of styles. Not only do we have timbers above us right here, but we also have full log walls, not only on the house, but also in the garage. There's gonna be a lot to see on this tour. Let's just start in this main living room area. The homeowners had a warm spot for Montana. Their family had vacationed there many times in the past and this stone was sourced from that area, just outside Glacier National Park. So not only do we have authentic quarry stone, which gives us many beautiful colors and textures, but we also have a reclaimed timber as the mantle. This combination of rugged features really draws your eye in to what some may say is a little bit more of a modern space with many of the light colors that we have in this room. This reclaimed mantle also ties into the timbers that we have on the ceiling and as you draw your eye up, you see a very impressive windmill fan, something that fills the volume of this space appropriately. This home was designed for hosting and entertaining. So with that in mind, not only do we have plenty of seating in the living room area, but the hearth provides additional seating as well. And when you're in this space, you can bring in the great views from the sunrise in the east to the sunset in the west. Now take a look at this covered porch area We've got plenty of light bouncing into this space, but it also reduces the direct lighting, providing very soft ambient light. And right behind me here, we've got the beautiful dining area. Once again, preserving those views, but also allowing for a very open concept with terrific flow into the kitchen. The kitchen features rustic hickory cabinets. The custom stain applied to these cabinets blends perfectly with the timbers and the trims in this home. Now notice the transom window above the main kitchen sink. I think that correlates very well with the stack cabinets that we have, where we have an additional panel above your primary wall cabinet. With the perimeter cabinets being as perfect as they are for this home, it's tempting to also use that on the island, but there's some great contrast here. Not only are these painted cabinets, but they've also been worn away with worn edges, nicks, and dents. So that really draws your eye in. And then on the side of the cabinets, as well as on the back of that island, this is the same finish that's being used on the ceilings. That ties in perfectly, and just take a close-up look at this, how everything flows so consistently together. Even extending the side style down, it gives it more of a furniture aesthetic. This countertop, is the same rustic hickory that we're using on these cabinets on the perimeter. Rustic hickory is a very hard wood. This countertop also has a very durable finish, so it'll stay looking good for a very long time. Now, speaking of countertops, we've got a leathered granite. That leathered finish offers more of a texture than what you typically feel on a countertop. And not only that, but if there are little crumbs on the countertop, you're far less likely to notice it with that texture applied. There are a lot of great details in the kitchen. Just take a look at this refrigerator end panel. It's been increased an extra three inches to 27 inches deep, enclosing that refrigerator unit. We've got plenty of pantry storage space over here. It's great with this coffee bar, open shelves, the same material was used that's being used on the ceiling beams above. And now you can really see just how perfectly these two stains tie together. That's what makes a one-stop shop like Golden Eagle so convenient because you can make sure that all your colors are going to blend perfectly when your home is built. Now take a look at this crown molding above me. A stock molding, something with a shaker aesthetic like this, was perfect for this home. I also appreciate the amount of space that was left for these beams and timbers to be able to run right through, providing a structural appearance. The lighting selections in this home took it to a whole new level. So not only do we have wall sconces, which are effectively pendant lights with the way they've been placed, but then we have an additional three pendant lights within this space. I especially appreciate the decision of having a pendant light directly over the kitchen sink. Oftentimes that's overlooked because everyone considers the natural light coming in from the window. But of course, we'll need that in the evening time. Now take a look at the lighting over here in the laundry room. 
This is a beautiful signature pendant light. It's the only fixture that you'll see in this beautiful space. And that's done intentionally because there's so much character in here with different metal finishes and different colors. It is certainly a statement piece. Now, speaking of statement pieces, take a look at this laundry sink. This is awesome. So this is a fire clay sink. A lot of people think that when they see this, that it is porcelain, but fire clay, in fact, is more durable, less likely to scratch, and gonna hold up for the lifetime of this home. This is very, very neat. We've got a great prep area here, a very special wall-mounted faucet, just perfect for this aesthetic. Even take a look at how everything was crafted to be built in perfectly with the apron of the kitchen cabinets. And speaking of cabinets, take a look at this. We've got another terrific selection. So we've got a little bit more of a green finish on this paint. And just like that island, we've got the worn edges and corners. This home features multiple window styles. There are double hungs, single hungs, casements, and picture units. So we've got a fixed picture unit here and a casement on each side. Now this was very intentionally done. And it's hard to imagine this when it's in the floor plan stage, but we wanted to point out that if you had a double or single hung window, you would have an obstruction to your view right about here. Now this laundry room is connected right into the garage. Let's check that out. This is a spacious three stall garage, three garage doors, perfect for the golf cart in this case, or a UTV. We also have plenty of windows in here, in addition to some great overhead lighting. This garage has a finished epoxy floor and it's a heated space. We've got radiant in-floor heat throughout this entire home. The homeowners say that this is a great overflow space for when they're hosting larger gatherings. Now think of your typical garage. Usually, best case scenario, you see finished drywall on here. This home takes to a whole new level. These walls were constructed out of full logs, just like the rest of the home. This takes it to the next level and preserves the authenticity of it being a full log home. This garage is set up so that you can hook up a hose, easily clean off whether it's muddy boots or your vehicle. There's a drain right below us here. The metal wains coating is perfect if there is any overspray. There's a special story to that. We'll get to that back when we're in the laundry. Now let's take a walk back inside. There's still a lot to show you in the laundry room. For generations, this property had a barn on it and materials were reclaimed and used in this home. This had been the roofing material. Let's continue on and take a look at how that's been used over in the bench area. So this mudroom drop zone is perfect because we do have access from the front entry as well as access from that garage. This is a great space for gathering all those items. If you're bringing in groceries, we've got an oversized pantry right here, which also doubles as a coat closet. These tall cubbies are perfect for work boots, as well as for your eye to be able to continue and overflow into that space. All this great natural light brings out the character that we see in the hand-hewn board that's being used to support the coats with these old iron coat racks. This bench is a live edge walnut, perfectly smooth, but looks incredibly rustic. Right behind me, we're utilizing the great volume in this space with an extra tall linen cabinet. That is just perfect. And now take a look at this barn door. I think we passed right by it without even mentioning anything. This is one of my favorite features in the home. Not only is there beautiful decorative glass in there, but we've also used the same material that's being used on the ceiling finish. So we're able to continue that through into this space. Our home designs often feature a bathroom near the garage or entry area. So this is a perfect location. You'll also see throughout this home that hand bars are placed. Now these are all custom made for the homeowners. It's just another strategic consideration when considering aging in place. We're entering the home office. This could easily be a guest bedroom in here. This is such a large space. What the homeowners appreciated was having a wonderful view of the property as they sit at the main desk. This office has plenty of cabinet storage, keeping it tidy and organized. I love the choice of a walnut wood species. All this natural light accentuates the varying grain throughout the species. There are double hung windows in this home, but in particular, I wanna highlight the single hungs that we have here. The bottom sash moves up and down while the top stays fixed. That makes a lot of sense when you have access to clean the window from the exterior. Whereas we have double hungs upstairs in the lofted area because then you can tilt the top sash in and easily access it for cleaning. 
there's so much to admire when it comes to the timber work in this main common space. Not only do we have eight by eight timbers coming down on the band board, but take a look at this loft edge. This is finished with a four inch wide, 14 inch tall beam, and that just perfectly wraps into the band board that we have within this space. Our large 12 by 12 hand hewn post supporting that loft above. There's gonna be a lot to check out up there. Looking forward to getting to that. But before we do, let's check out the primary suite. Typically a trade-off when you have a lofted space or a second floor is that you're going to have flat ceilings on the first floor, but that doesn't need to be the case. We have vaulted this space, not only allowing for the timbers to follow their way up to the ridge beam, but also offers a more dramatic appearance to this space. Traffic flow is crucial when designing a floor plan. And that's why a pocket door, or in this case, a barn door is so convenient because it prevents an obstruction to the flow of traffic. And that is a great consideration when you have an ensuite bathroom because oftentimes this door will be left open anyway. It gives us great access to a closet right over here, a heated towel rack, and take a look at this walk-in shower. This is incredible. Here are a couple great ideas when designing your own custom shower. First of all, glass doors allowing that natural light to flow into the space. Got curbless entry, perfect for wheelchair accessibility. Also a great natural taper to the drain. There's a great bench seat in here. And of course, having a large niche is great for storing all of our items. Most importantly, it's all about the faucets. The matte black finish pulls into a bit more of the industrial theme that we've got in this home but a lot of people love this oversized hand wand with multiple features in it. And if you don't wanna get your hair wet, this is incredibly convenient. The great ideas continue on. We've got a transom overflowing light into this space, also a double vanity. And although a double vanity is common, what isn't so common is having this much space. It only makes sense because when you have two sinks, you gotta make sure you have enough surface area on the countertop, which also allows you extra drawer storage. A terrific traffic flow decision is incorporating the walk-in closet into the bathroom. The easy back and forth makes it very convenient when getting ready in the morning. Now let's head upstairs and check out the loft. There's a lot to see up there. It's incredible up here. The craftsmanship is just stunning. We've got this huge timber on the inverted valley bringing us up to the ridge beam and take a look at this timber truss. So this accent truss here is the shape of a turkey track, and you can really see that hand-hewn finish popping through with the natural light bouncing through the gable windows up here. These windows are stunning, bringing in some wonderful soft lighting to the space, and it's just cozy in here. Not only is this a great place for reading, but also we've got a nice table over here for putting together puzzles. This railing allows us to see through and still capture the view even when we're up here in this space. That's a three quarter inch rebar. So that is just gorgeous. This right over here will be an additional lounge space. This is great overflow when the homeowner's family or friends come to stay. They've got their own private full bath as well as a bedroom right over here. The trim work in this home is at a whole new level. Not only does it have Golden Eagle signature hewn finish, but we've also got an extra thick and wide two by six material. Take a look at the ridge beam above me. This is stunning as it passes through this entire area leading to those rafters in this space and even the intricacies of this custom timber staircase is amazing. We've got open treads here allowing natural light to pour in from the window that we have at that intermediate landing. When you combine the railings and the rebar spindles, it is an ultra rugged combination. Now, another cool thing about this loft space is all the special extra storage areas. Take a look at this. I'm told that the grandkids absolutely love playing up here. So whether you're storing extra materials or your extra play areas for the little ones, that is just a ton of fun. There are more custom built-ins in this home and you'll wanna see those. Let's head there next. We are now in the finished lower level, and this is certainly going to be trending on Pinterest. This is terrific. Not only do we have a warmer space in here because we've continued with the hand-hewn log siding material, but we also have our own wall sconce. This is cozy and perfect. I am sure the grandkids love it in here. 
And as we continue on, more themes continue when it comes to having family over. What I appreciate about building a brand new custom home is that not only do you have extra tall ceilings, but then you can finish the lower level right away. This is a great space for entertaining. We've got plenty of seating around the island and the use of that reclaimed roofing material, that corrugated that was pulled from the barn. Now this over here, this could easily be a bedroom. And in fact, that is something that has been considered for future planning. To get outside, you don't need to go all the way upstairs. We've got this walkout wall right here, which is terrific for convenience and even bringing in large furniture. The ceiling finish above me is a circle sawn hickory. And of course, taking a look at the grand wall here with the TV on it and all the artwork, and even the little kids love rushing into this, grabbing their favorite toys. This is another terrific way to utilize the space that we had available to us. Above this area is the fireplace upstairs, but the homeowners didn't feel the need to have a fireplace in the lower level, particularly because this is all in floor heat in here. So let's go take a look at the mechanical room and we'll check out those systems. These homeowners wanted to make sure they had the best of the best. So not only is there radiant in-floor heat, but it is split up among four different zones so they can each have their own temperature. Even the guest bedroom upstairs has its own thermostat. That way that room can be individually controlled for the person's desired comfort. Radiant in-floor heat requires a high efficiency boiler. We've got our holding tank and our conventional HVAC system for air conditioning, as well as circulating air throughout the home. Coming from the mechanical room, we've got an overflow of bunk beds over here. We also have a full bath. Now this is beautiful. Take a look at this tile shower. Also, the vanity is ultra special. We've got the old ads finish. This is an ultra rugged finish here for that top. A continuation of that fire clay sink like what we saw up in the laundry room. Increasing in popularity is having an apron inside a toilet, making it easier to clean. Before we see all the terrific exterior design features, let's take a look at the foyer area. There's some great ideas you'll want to consider there. This foyer is a great size. It feels open and spacious. You don't even necessarily realize you're in a foyer when you walk in allowing your eye to be drawn to that incredible view. We also have plenty of space so that when the homeowners have many guests over, as those guests are leaving and they gather around to say their goodbyes, there's plenty of room in this space. They can easily grab their coats from the coat closet. And having the ceiling finish above us reflects a lot of great light in this space. Now let's head outside. There is so much more to see out there. This is a magnificent front door. First of all, it's eight feet tall, three and a half feet wide, so 42 inches plus 14 inch side lights on each side. And to top it off, most doors are an inch and three quarters thick for the exterior doors. This one is an extra half an inch, two and a quarter inches thick. You certainly can feel the thickness, the massiveness of this door when you open it. And take a look at that hardware. This handle set is a Baldwin handle set. It's just got such a heavy feel to it. It certainly feels like it's high quality. We are right now underneath an incredible covered porch area. A different design style that we're seeing here is the elimination of a railing system. Not only does it make this space feel larger, but it also allows easy access to flow in and out of the covered porch area. To reduce maintenance, we've gone with a standing seam metal roof also maintenance-free ceiling finish soffits and fascias. Even take a look at the gutters. Those are extra oversized. Just like everything in this home, it's taken to the next level. When you first pull up to this house, it is absolutely stunning. Not only do we have the craftsmanship of this covered porch, but we also have some timber accents up in that dormer, and then the different roof lines that contrast with each other offers a very dynamic aesthetic. I really appreciate the poplar ceiling finish that we see in the covered porch area. This is a gable covered porch. It also allows for us to open it up with what we call a turkey track. So that assembly comes together to structurally support the roof system, but also allow beautiful light to overflow into the space, as well as to be able to see that chandelier when you're pulling up the driveway in the evening. The landscaping on this property is absolutely stunning. Something I like to see is the combination of different wall finishes. So we've got stone on this wall here, which contrasts with the primary finish of that full log material. 
And then in the upper gables, we see a maintenance-free shake. I also really appreciate the decision to use an eyebrow roof above these garage doors. Not only does it keep snow and water away from the garage doors, but also offers a lot more interest to what would be typically a more ordinary garage wall. Also the maintenance-free garage doors, these look like they're real wood, but in fact, that is a steel garage door with a wood grain texture in there. Also the continuation of three different lights on each panel, just like what we saw on the front door. As we turn the corner, we can begin to appreciate the craftsmanship of Golden Eagle's dovetail corner. Although there are many different corner styles to choose from, the dovetail corner was handcrafted at Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes, and this is all done with precision machinery to make sure that it all comes together for a perfect, energy-efficient fit. Boy, this house is just absolutely stunning. We've got a whole home generator that instantly turns on if they ever have the loss of power. The grade has changed about eight feet from the primary entrance to this walkout wall. And rather than having a retaining wall that spanned that whole height, they've tapered it with wing walls on each side of the walkout. And then beyond that, these boulders were placed and they were pulled from the land. As the home was being excavated for its foundation, these were collected. And this gives you a great example of how the colors of the stone selection on the exterior tie in so well with the natural stone colors of the land. Now let's talk about this massive gable covered porch. We've got timbers framing out the roof system here with poplar on the ceiling finish. A great variety of colors in this space. And of course, it's the fireplace, an outdoor wood burning fireplace that is the signature statement piece of this area. We've got plenty of room for gathering around up to six people. The homeowners enjoy having their meals out here on the shaded covered porch while they're overlooking all the beautiful wildlife. The floor on this covered porch as well as on the front of the home is a poured stamped concrete. It looks spectacular. We've got a variety of colors here where it gets darker in the grooves as well as the simulated cracks that we see in the wood and the knots. And then take a look at the edge of this. They've poured an additional eight inches to make these look like they're eight inch thick planks. That is impressive. There are so many great ideas in this home. Comment below, let us know what your favorites are. And if you wanna watch more of our incredible home tours, click this playlist here.